uh, with Philadelphia last week. Um, I think there are, Twitter was aghast by this decision that John Tortorella has joined the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, I mean, if there's not a more natural pairing for a team, <laughs> a, a team reputation and a coach reputation, I'm not sure <laughs> if there is one. Yeah, it seems like it does seem like a good, it seems like a natural fit. Um, this, My worry is more so whether he meshes with their current roster whether that roster wants to play the torts way there is a lot of there is i i think the flyers are a talented team that just doesn't feel like they have a lot of cohesiveness there's just something missing there they just they they aren't on the same page like i think a lot of people really like travis sanheim again ryan ellis was injured most of last year. I think that that was a big loss. Carter Hart, I think people are still high on him as a goaltender. Um, you, you still got Kevin Hayes, who had a, a, an emotionally difficult year. Cam Atkinson, he's he's a big Torts fan. I think the, there's, there's some talent in Philadelphia. They just don't seem to be playing together, and I I, I think Torts can bring that there. I I. I don't think it's that bad of a hire. I understand people's concern, but I, you know, there's talent in Philadelphia. There really is. I really think that this team is a lot better than, than they've shown in terms of talent. They're just, they're, they're not cohesive. And yeah, that's more so what I was trying to get at is like, I'm just not sure if they're going to want to play a tort style way. Like they, they seem to be more the, I, I kind of see a lot of similarities in when Torres first came to Vancouver and people wondered whether that roster is going to mesh with Torts. I have the same sort of questions in Philadelphia. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I think they're a little bit better, better prepared for that than the Canucks were. Um, and I still think there's some, there's there. I think Philly's going to be active this off season. Um, they currently only have, just over five million in cap space, but I do see them moving out a uh, one or two big, big contracts um, to try and and rejig things. They tried to rejig that whole that whole defense. It didn't work. Um, that's that wrist aligning contracts. It's very interesting. Um, Couturier wasn't healthy last year. Ellis wasn't healthy. Both of those guys are twenty. Couturier's twenty nine. Ellis is 31, then they're both side long term. That's what's cr that, that just is crazy about Philly. They have 30 year old Kevin Hayes signed for another four years. They have um, 27 year old Rasm Rasmus Ristolainen Rasmus signed for signed for another five. They have 31 year old Ryan Ellis signed for another five. 29 year old. Um, Sean Couturier signed for another. He starts. He starts an eight-year deal this upcoming season. And yeah. it's just I don't know if they have it. They've got Faraby and Konechny, who are both young, uh, more on the younger side. But are they? Can can they take another good another step? Um, Provorov hasn't really turned out to be the defenseman that we thought he would be, but I, I I'm expecting I'm expecting more fireworks out of Philly this off season. Yeah, they're look, they're looking to they're looking to rebound quick. They're looking to re, a, a, and find a way find a way back into the playoffs and be competitive right away. And that's why they hired Torts. And I think they are also going to be looking to move on players who they don't think are going to be Torts players. That also happens when you have a corporation own your your, your team, because I will remind everyone Comcast owns the Flyers. Yeah, yeah, and they're not interested in rebuilding. Yeah, and they need they also need Cam York and Bobby Brink to take a step as well. A couple of their prospects uh, to take another step there as well. So, but I I think Torts will bring a standard there that hasn't been there. And I I know I, I there's talent in Philly. It's aging. And it's not cohesive. 
it's a lot of work to do in Philly. It's, that will be, that's one of the quieter off-season stories to watch is Philadelphia for me. Mm-hmm.